we start by creating a new package. I will name it as multi selection. And inside this package, I will create a new activity and the activity called multiple selection activity. Click finish and here we go. This is our importing of R and this is our activity. And here in the main activity, we need to create a button that directs us to the uh, multi multiple selection activity that we just create it. Dragging and dropping a button adding its constraints and I will name it as button underscore multi selection okay and the text I will call it multi selection or uh, recycler view with multiple selection okay I change here I put it to wrap content Okay, amazing guys. Also copying it, pasting, button for, and directing to multiple selection activity. We didn't create anything new till now. We are going to drag and drop a recycler view inside the activity of multiple selection activity. And I will create a button in order to get the selected uh, items so when the user click this button uh, I will display a toast message telling him what selection did he made okay multiple RV and I will create an adapter class here called multi adapter Also, as the previous steps, we need to create a layout, a custom layout for the item of the cards or the recycler view. And we will use the same employee model class and item employee. So in this video, we have uh, create, we need just to make the adapter because we uh, created it before the custom layout which is called item underscore employee and the model class it would be the same so go to the previous video if you missed the item underscore employee and the model class don't worry i will repeat every step as previous to make a circular view as dragging and dropping a button as easy as dragging and drop a button so guys remember we need adapter class. Inside the adapter class, we have two steps, two big steps. First of all, creating the multi adapter class constructor and implement its methods. The second step is creating the view holder class. As I told you, I prefer starting with view holder class. Okay, start by Cla class, I will name it as multi view holder extends recycler view dot view holder i will create private text view image view and i import packages create the constructor of it and inside the constructor of the view holder i will initialize the views so Here we go. And everything is working fine. Now, let's create a method called void bound bind. I will create a method called bind and it's getting the selected items bind it's of type void or returning type void and 
This image view will set the visibility. If the employee is checked, go and view it as visible. Otherwise, view is gone. This is the, the meaning of this typing. So the question mark is setting if it is true. So the employee is checked true. Yes, go and set the visibility of the image view to visible. Otherwise, the two points go and set the view as gone. Also, everything is the same when the user on click and setting the visibility. Okay, the same as previous. Now, the trick is get, in this video is getting all the items selected. In the previous video, we have get or we get the, the only one item selected. Now, I will get a list, an array list of items selected. For that, I will create method called get all and I will get get the selecting button when clicked. I will create a public array list employee method called uh, or sorry, array list called selected and I inside this array list, I will make a loop to get all of these selected items and stored it inside the array list called select. So what we are doing now, I'm creating an array list called selected and I will create a for loop making employee and making uh, the selection of the employees. So I may be missing here, uh, missing, okay, I need first of all, uh, to uh, to configure the adapter class, then continue with uh, our employees or uh, employees array list that we have created uh, below. Now, as I told you, the adapter contains two things, the context and the array list. The array list called employees. And I will make here, I will make here a method called set employees it takes parameter array list of type employees i will initialize the employees and employees equal employees and notify data set change now some errors and back to our loop some errors has been resolved, but I think there is uh, something that I missed here. This size, yes. Okay, let me check. Maybe I have missed, uh, okay, selected.add. I have missed the big method. The returning, okay, okay. So in this loop, I will put it inside, and I will cut it, and I will put it inside uh, a method called public array list of type employee. And I will name it as get selected. And inside this method, I will put the array list and the loop that we have created. Now all errors have been resolved, adding the return statement, which is of type array list. So we have these methods. And the last step is implementing the methods that we have already seen in the previous four videos inside the, this uh, uh, application on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count as i told you on create view you tell uh, the android studio which layout which custom layout you are going to use and view it using the layout inflator on bind view holder, I will call them 
the holder holder dot bind method employees dot get position which will uh, return the view and return item count which getting the count of the array list sas okay as we see the employee have text view and image view now the last step is going to the main activity the, the multiple selection activity sorry and display the items and put the data inside the array uh, sorry inside the adapter and display them according to our custom layout that we have created i will create recycler view an array list multiple adapter and a button we have two widgets the recycler view and the button we need to initialize them and then we need to configure the recycler view and add its uh, own characteristics now the button here recycler view dot set layout manager equal new layout manager and context is passed as this 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 sorry and recycler view here dot add item decoration we need to make an item decoration it's not mandatory guys but i prefer using it adapter equal new adapter multi adapter and recycler view set the adapter to, to adapter many people missed to make recycler view dot set adapter so guys it's very important to uh, use set adapter method i will create a new method called create list of data and then i will handle click events on button so when the user click on the button i will create button set on click listener and if adapter dot get selected size is above zero which means the user have made a list of item a uh, multiple selection of the uh, multiple selection of the items so the string builder i've created here in order to display it into the toast message so int i equal to zero i less than adapter dot get selected dot size and the string builder dot append adapter dot get selected get i and get name string builder dot append so what i'm doing here it will display the number and the selection of the item the name of the item that we have selected and uh, will print uh, a new line and then go up to the loop according to the size of the selected items and i will display a show uh, a toast message using a show toast method that we are going to use here and we create it here but first of all uh, let's create the create or sorry create list of data method i will initialize the employees your list and make a new loop here for about 20 this is a dummy a dummy list so i will make a, a dummy a list of data dummy list of recycler review items uh, called employee 1, employee 2, employee 3, and so on till 20, till 19. So, then showing at least one selection, employee dot set check to true. Now, employees dot add employee. In this way, we have uh, created a dump uh, uh, and a mock array list of uh of employees just for testing and the last thing is making the show toast uh, method removing this and passing the message everything uh, should be working fine let's click run and see 
oops we have some errors let me check we have the button here button multiple selection okay the name the id of the button is wrong i will need to change it multi get multiple selection okay and i will add the text to it okay now it will work fine let me run and see and here we go guys so click on this click on this but the stick sign is not showing let me check guys we missed to make the tick sign, but uh, as source in image view. But I remember that if we click on the get multiple selection, we get it, but the tick sign is not shown. Let me check what is the error. Okay. I will close everything. So if we click for, okay, it's working fine, guys, but the tick sign is not working. Let me close and see. Okay. Maybe the error is the, in the layout of the tick sign and the image view. Okay. Let me go to the item I'm playing. I will make this the width of maybe the width of the text view is not showing. Okay. Not showing the tick. So you see, guys, the tick sign is now showing. Wrap content and gravity i will make it to start in order to ensure that we get it always left okay and i will make some margins between the text sign and the text 15 dp is good now let's run and see and here we go guys we are amazing we are very professional developers thank you guys i hope you rate us five stars on udemy and subscribe to our youtube channel master coding downloading our master coding application from play store and so you support us and you tell us to make new tutorials Thank you guys, see you next video.